there! Today we're going to DIY three anthropology inspired pieces. So I absolutely love the home decor section of anthropology, but I don't always want to spend $70 on a tray. So today I've created three different anthropology inspired hacks um, of three unique home decor pieces and I've used a lot of materials from the dollar store, Amazon, and more. So hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and let's get into it. So this is what the first piece looks like. It's a marble tray from Anthropology, and it is $98. I think that's pretty insane. Um, but you'll see how we can easily recreate this tray, and it looks exactly like it. Here's what you'll need. A marble tray, two gold drawer pulls, E6000, and felt furniture chips. So before this, I uh, got some of these felt furniture tips and applied them on the bottom of your marble slab, one on each corner. So this is what it looks like. It allows the um, marble slab to not cut up any surfaces that you want to put it on. Um, and then next, we're gonna take just these two gold pulls and glue them to both sides of the marble slab to be the handles for the tray. I'm actually gonna measure. Okay, so we have each piece about one and a half inches from the edge. And we're gonna take our E6000 glue This piece is a stoneware candle holder for $38, and we're going to recreate it with some Sculpey uh, tan clay. So these candles I got from the dollar store, and I got the Sculpey tan clay from Amazon. First you need to warm up all of the clay, so just break apart the clay into smaller groups and just roll it around um, until it's a little bit more malleable. And then after that, we're just going to roll our clay flat, do the entire piece, and you'll have a long, uh, flat strand of clay. Now you're going to form the clay candle just following the design um, from the anthropology image. I used um, a sample candle just to make sure the top uh, portion would actually fit the candle once it was baked and good to go. You'll actually notice here that I put a little bottom piece in the top circle just so the candle wouldn't fall through. And then what I have rigged up here is a meat thermometer that I kind of have upside down just so there's something um, to hold up the structure while it bakes. And this last piece is a cup with a little leather accent. So it's not that I'm necessarily trying to make it a ton cheaper because it's already not that expensive, but I was really inspired by the way this looked and I had some scrap leather uh, laying around so I wanted to try it out. So for this one you're going to need a cutting mat, a mallet, a leather hole punch, a rotary knife, and some rivets and scrap leather and then whatever container you want to put the leather around. So first you're going to measure your scrap leather, so just bring it around the entire circumference of the container just to see how long you need it to be. So then after you do that, just cut off the excess leather. The anthropology piece of leather was very thin, so that's what I'm going to do with this scrap piece. I'm just going to use a ruler, uh, my rotary cutter, and the cutting board just to slice a very thin piece of leather. Then you're going to measure your piece again just to make sure the excess leather um, is the length that you want. So mine wasn't so I wanted to chop off a little bit at the end. 
And now we're going to have to do the last step, which is putting in the rivets. So to do this, we're going to need to punch holes in the leather. I'm using a leather hole punch that I had, um, but I purchased it from Michaels. Some rivet kits also come with leather hole punches. So you're just going to stick one rivet in the back, um, attach the other piece of leather, and put the rivet cap on top. So make sure you have everything aligned and hammer a good two or three times. And now you see that the rivet is set, everything looks good, so now all we have to do is slide it onto our container and admire the beautiful work.